Hi everyone, welcome to the Tesla Economist. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It looks very likely Tesla reached their delivery goal this year of 500,000 vehicles. Believe it or not, this goal was initially set in 2014 to reach 500,000 cars by 2020. I guess things were going so well with the Model S, Elon said again in 2016 that he thought he could reach 500,000 cars by as early as 2018. This was also back at a time when Elon was overly ambitious and notorious for missing deadlines. And he goes on to say, it's bad to say our 2020 target for volume is closer to maybe 1 million vehicles in 2020 or something like that. This was before he discovered robots don't quite work as well as he thought and went through the infamous production hell. When he reached 2019, Elon's next goal was to reach 500,000 for that year, which he went to elaborate that he meant production rate, not total. Total would only be about 400,000 target, which they came up short over 30,000 deliveries. People are used to Elon not hitting targets and deadlines, and he has a reputation for it. But if Tesla achieved 500,000, that implies around 181,000 deliveries for the fourth quarter. If you scale that up annually, it becomes a run rate of 724,000. So in reality, this year, Tesla have improved 50% over their objective from 2019. And it's not about how many cars they can deliver a year. It's what they can get their production run rate up to. Really, Tesla have done truly well this year reaching that impressive target because they had to deal with COVID on top of everything. With the Shanghai factory being closed early in the year and then Fremont following suit later, this disrupted the flow of production, created logistics issues and simply lost time in achieving the mission. Hopefully they made the most of the downtime and worked on improving the production line and perhaps that's partly why the fourth quarter will be so good. I estimate all this would have affected at least 50,000 deliveries. So in reality, Tesla would have likely done over 550,000 deliveries this year. Tesla need to deliver around 181,000 in the fourth quarter to hit the 500,000 deliveries. But my estimates actually have deliveries at around 185 to 195,000. So let's say 190,000 and it would seem lately now more people are discussing similar numbers and even the possibility of it hitting 200,000. In my delivery numbers for Q4 video, I place a 20% chance of them achieving over 200,000. It is possible. Which could take them to a ridiculous 520,000 deliveries or 570,000 if it hadn't been for COVID. That's just mind blowing. Wall Street already think Tesla's targets are over ambitious, but if Tesla not only meet these targets, but keep destroying them, the stock price might actually go past Mars. Elon has been quite vocal lately about hitting his target. I think it really means a lot to him. We had a leaked email around the 27th of December that read, After today, we just have five days to go to achieve this historic milestone of 500,000 cars built and delivered. Please go all out to make it happen. This is a great milestone to rally the company around achieving. All the critics who, as recently as two years ago, said we'd never make it, also called our target of half a million in 2020 impossible. The heck with them. We're doing it. Particularly help would be appreciated at the end of the line to ensure cars built now are able to be delivered immediately without any further improvements in PDI, as there simply isn't enough time to do so. Hope everyone was able to spend some time with loved ones in this holiday season and has an amazing 2021. Elon. Then, just on the 30th of December, Elon tweets, All tester cars delivered in the final three days of the year will get three months of the full self-driving option for free. Delivery and docks must be fully complete by midnight December the 31st implying he really wants to get as many cars out even faster to get those numbers up. Perhaps to incentivize new owners to pick up their cars ASAP. I don't think this is to get to 500,000 deliveries. I think this is to destroy that number. So what is it this year that Tesla did to jump from around 368,000 deliveries last year to the equivalent of around 550 to 570,000 if we remove the COVID impact? That is a jump of over 50%. So what caused this? Elon said in an earnings statement, while achieving this goal has become more difficult, half a million vehicles in 2020 remains our target. Achieving this target depends primarily on quarter over quarter increases and Model Y and Shanghai production, as well as further improvements in logistics and delivery efficiency at higher volume levels. And yes, it's not really a big secret, but this year has been all about getting the Shanghai production facility ramped up. And with an alleged production capacity of 25,000 a month, they're just about there now. It wasn't easy when they were just getting started having to shut down everything again after making such good progress and getting production started at record-breaking speeds. This was their first purpose-built facility too, so it was great practice for Tesla in building their own facilities. They would have likely learned a lot, which now they can use to improve their construction for new factories. And the other objective was ramping up Model Y at Fremont. It would appear Model Y will be an even bigger seller than the three, 
And with the fact that the margins are probably about $5,000 more with every Y sold, then it makes a lot of sense to ramp up production as fast as possible. Perhaps a little too fast, as we have seen some Model Y's roofs fly off while driving. Anyway, in Q1, they did around 1,000 Model Ys, Q2, 15,000, despite COVID, then Q3, almost 35,000, and I think well over 50,000 in Q4. So they're not messing around, and imagine they should be able to reach 100,000 Model Ys in Fremont eventually. This is what has caused such a jump in production, and it's just the start, as they're currently building enough factories of a capacity of five times this amount. So what will all this do to the stock price? Gary Black says 500,000 is baked in already. The investors know Wall Street is off. And I think it's fairly obvious he's right. However, now analysts are coming out with numbers even higher, talking about 190 to 200,000 deliveries, which has increased the price again. A lot of spe speculation on stock price hitting over $700. Well, considering it's only $5 off at the time of this video, I'd think the 500,000 delivery number would well and truly put it over the $700 line. I'm not talking about anything like a 10% swing, but I think we would likely see some sort of bump. If we get 200,000 deliveries, then that is pretty major, as it implies their production rate is already at next year's target, and they have three more factories next year than they didn't the last year. Then, in reality, the stock price should probably be more like $800. 200,000 is a big number, though, so we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, we expect to get the results on the 3rd of January, so we'll find out soon. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.